Hi, everyone. Um, I want to take a moment here today to share some of what I've learned uh, about using chat GPT for educators. I spent a lot of time this week um, playing around with it, figuring out the capabilities of it for specific for the job of an educator. And uh, I can't say enough about how revolutionary this really is. One of the biggest complaints that you get from teachers is there's too much to do and there's not enough time to do it. Right. We are we are buckets full of water and water just keeps getting added, but it never gets taken out. Right. And for the first time in my 15 or so year career of education, this is something that has the potential to greatly reduce the water in the bucket. Uh, and I'm going to show you one example here. So um, I'm traditionally an English teacher. And one thing I love to do uh, as a teacher is to do station work. Um, it's great for engagement. It's great for classroom management. It's great for differentiation. Um, however, it is very time consuming to create all the materials. So it's the kind of thing you might do every once in a while, but it's, it's hard to maintain the energy to, to keep it up again and again and again. Um, so here's one way that I found that could be a huge time saver so that I could more frequently use this great, uh, this great, uh, type of teaching. So I'm going to say, um, Let's say, for example, uh, I'm an eighth grade English teacher and we're reading the novel Chains. OK, so I'm going to say uh, and we, we just read chapter seven at home and I want them to engage with uh, the, the text from chapter seven. So I'm going to say create five stations for an eighth grade English class. Common core aligned, um, related to chapter seven of novel chains. Now I could just stop there, but I know like one skill I need my students, a couple of skills I need my students to work with. So I'm going to include, so I'm going to say, uh, include stations for uh, sentence variety. Uh, using context clues or vocab. Uh, you know, this is a book that has a lot of archaic language in it, so it can be really tough for them. Uh, using context clues for vocab and making inferences. Let's see what it comes up with here. So what it's going to give me here is, is an outline. All right, so, um, which is great. Uh, it's going to give me five different examples of things that I can do uh, with these five stations. And if I wanted to, I could just stop here, right? Like, so the first one, students will work in small groups to rewrite a passage from the chapter seven of chains using a variety of sentence structures. Uh, they will then present their revised passage to the class and explain their choices. Or number three, making inferences. Students will work in small groups and make inferences about the chapter's thoughts and feelings. This is a good outline, but it's not specific enough to be really helpful for me. So I'm going to go a bit deeper here and I'm going to say, uh, choose a passage and choose a passage from chapter seven and create prompts for station three. All right. So it has pulled a quote directly from the book. All right. And I've read this book myself many times, so I know that this is something coming directly from it. So so there's the passage for me. I don't have to dig through the chapter to find it. Um, and here's some uh, here's some prompts I can use. So really, I could just copy paste this onto printable material and have it ready for them there at the station. Um, I could do the same thing for, let's say, for sentence variety. I could say choose passage for uh, station one. All right, so it's pulling here. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing a compound sentence. I'm seeing a simple sentence. Uh, I'm seeing another simple sentence. Um, okay, so it's giving me, it's giving me an example of. Uh, of a passage that uh, didn't have and then was revised to having more um, 
sentence variety. That's good. I can work with that. Um, now, another issue you run into is you have your uh, low performing students who require differentiation. So for the, uh, let's say, summarizing, I could say create differentiated, which I never spell correctly, create differentiated material for station for uh, Lexile level 300. <clears throat> All right, and so providing a summary at Lexile level 300 for students who may need additional support. All right, now, so this is giving me a summary, uh, but what I could do instead is I could say uh, provide passage from uh, chapter seven and I'll have it give me a passage and then I could say revise passage for uh, 300 Lexile level and it's going to rewrite that passage from the book on a lower Lexile level. So my students that need differentiation can do the exact same lesson uh, with more accessible text. Um, it, this is just one example of just how absolutely uh, time saving and groundbreaking this is. Um, if I come up with other, when I come up with other ideas, uh, I can post more or uh, if you have questions about other things that you'd want to see uh, mapped out, um, I could uh, I could help out with that. Um, so let me know. I hope this is helpful to all my teacher friends out there.